Hi friends, in this video, we are going to see what is CD4017IC and how it works. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. The CD4017 is a Johnson Decade counter with 10 decoded outputs. Counter is a device which counts the number of times an event occurred. Now let's see the pinout of CD4017IC. Pin number 8 is ground pin. Pin number 16 is VCC pin. Pin number 15 is reset pin. Pin number 14 is clock pin. Pin number 13 is clock enable pin. Pin number 12 is carry out pin. And all the remaining pins are the output pins. Now let's see the logic symbol of CD4017IC. These are the logic symbols of CD4017IC. Digital counter has an input line called the clock and multiple output line and sometimes a few control lines as well. The values on the output lines represents a binary number which can be decoded in different number systems or sequences. So this is the counter whenever it receives a clock signal its output value incremented by 1. The value on the output represents a binary number. Now this is a counter with a 7 segment decoder. Whenever a clock occurs, the output of counter incremented by 1 and that value is decoded by the decoder and displayed on the 7 segment display. As we know CD4017 is a decaded counter with 10 outputs. A decayed counter is a counter which counts through 10 states. So this is a BCD counter. Whenever it receives a clock pulse, its output incremented by 1. It is a 4-bit counter, but it can count from 0 to 9. Now let's connect the 7-segment decoder to the BCD counter. So this is a BCD counter with a 7-segment decoder. Whenever the BCD counter receives a clock signal, its output is incremented by 1 and the output value is decoded by the 7-segment decoder and displayed on 7 segment display. So as you can see, this counter can count from 0 to 9. Now let's see what is a Johnson counter. This is a Johnson counter. Whenever it receives a clock pulse, its output turns on and off in a sequence. CD4017 chip is consist of a 5-bit Johnson counter and a 10 output decoder. So this is CD4017IC. Whenever it receives a clock pulse, the corresponding output of that clock number is turned on. Now let's make an example circuit with CD4017IC. For that, first connect CD4017IC. After that, connect its pin number 8, 13 and 15 to ground. After that, connect its pin number 16 to positive supply. After that, connect 10 LEDs and connect their cathode to ground. After that, connect 10 470 ohm resistors and connect their one pin to anodes of the LED and their other pins to outputs of the CD4017 as shown in the diagram. After that, connect the 555 timer IC and connect its pin number 1 to ground, its pin number 4 and 8 to positive supply and connect its pin number 3 to pin number 14 of CD4017 IC and then connect its pin number 6 and 2 together. After that, connect a 10K trim pot and connect its one side pin and center pin to pin number 6 of 555 timer IC and connect its other side pin to pin number 7 of 555 timer IC. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 7 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to positive supply. After that, connect a 10 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to pin 2 of 555 timer IC and its negative pin to ground. So we have completed this example circuit. Now let's test this circuit.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.